Governor, should the, gov should the government redistribute its citizens' wealth? Uh, that's not the role of government. The government obviously has a legitimate role in uh, uh, promoting uh, taxation uh, for legitimate government uh, expenditures. The problem is we have so dramatically overspent and overpromised now uh, that the bills are due and uh, we just don't have good leadership in the White House to be able to reduce spending. And so, no, there's not a duty to redistribute. Now, I do think we have to have a good safety net. Uh, we should do things that uh, allow uh, the private sector organizations to be uh, vibrant, charitable organizations to help people in need. But merely raising taxes, uh, as this president has suggested, and engaging in class warfare for the purpose of redistributing uh, resources is, is not at all part of the government's duty. Are you against farm subsidies? Are you against farm subsidies? Just well, there, I mean, there are appropriate, uh, there are appropriate means uh, and policies to do that if it's in the demonstrated best interest and the national interest of the United States. And those are choices that the President and Congress made together. I think probably we've got so much of those out there now. I think we really ought to ask the question, are we getting the results and are we uh, actually uh, creating the goodwill in all those countries that we had before? Do you think the defense sequester will have on you know, the defense industry yeah. in Virginia? Yeah, it's going to be devastating. And oh, those aren't even my words. That's, I guess uh, among jobs is in particular. Yeah, well, both Secretary Gates and Secretary Panetta both said that uh, sequestration going into effect as is would be devastating to the U.S. military. We've got 350,000 men and women in uniform in Virginia. And uh, so I think it would impair the readiness of the U.S. military. And, and the secretaries agree. Now, on the jobs front, we've had uh, several surveys that have come out that have said anywhere from 130,000 to 210,000 Virginia jobs would be at risk if sequestration goes into effect as it is. Because what's happened is we've already cut $487 million, billion dollars in the current budget. If you add another 600 or so billion on top of that over the next 10 years, you're talking about a trillion dollars in defense cuts over a very short period of time. And uh, again, the notices are going to probably go out in about six weeks from these companies that are telling people, you may not have a job January 1st. How does that jive, though, with the, the GOP talking point that government doesn't create jobs? Well, the purpose of the defense spending isn't just to create jobs. I'm saying the reality is that appropriate spending in promote, from protecting the national security interests of the United States has in fact generated a lot of jobs in there. So you don't do the spending just to create the jobs. My concern is that sequestration was never meant to be a policy. It was simply meant to be a hammer to force the parties to come together to get an agreement. Well, guess what? The super committee failed. Congress hadn't acted. The president's been a bystander. He continues to refuse to lead. We write them letters, we have rallies in Virginia, we point out that it's going to hurt the military and jobs, and uh, we hear nothing from them. So I don't think the president tends to do a thing before the election. So Maybe that's the problem. hadn't gone along with it? No, I think everybody had their back to the wall. I mean, we were within days of having the greatest country on earth default, which would have created an international uh, meltdown. It was a bad choice among worst choices. Uh, and that option, well, that option was default. So. They didn't expect it to go into effect. They really believed that uh, cooler heads would prevail, that spending cuts would be made, and uh, that there would be a budget deal. Here we are, a year later, nothing's happened. So Are farm subsidies uh, redistribution of wealth? I can only do one at a time. Is, 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 is it the uh, president's fault that the uh, in entrepreneurs have hit a low point? And, and also, uh, uh, second question, uh, would you take a post in the Romney administration? <laughs> There's plenty of blame to go on around, I think, in Washington or why th things don't get done. Look, Congress has about a 15 percent approval rating, uh, and, but I think the president ultimately has failed to lead. And the reason I feel I can criticize the president is when I was governor of Virginia the first two years, I had a Democratic Senate and a Republican House, the same thing that the president had. I didn't spend all my time blaming the Democrats. I brought them in. We found ways to work things out. We got a budget passed. We got major transportation, education reforms passed. If all you're going to do is blame the other party and not lead, you're going to create a toxic situation where things don't get done. And that's the president's fault. He hasn't led and hasn't tried to bring people together on the issues uh, that matter. So uh, I don't, hold on, I don't, right. I don't blame the president. The president didn't create the situation that we're in. He inherited a tough situation. He's just made it worse. His policies haven't worked because we have worse unemployment. Uh, we have uh, more taxes. Uh, we have 
a crushing debt that he's added six trillion, more than any president in American history. He's doubled gas prices. I mean, there's a lot of things that I do say specifically that the president's policies have failed. Now, on the uh, our final, the one question, question until I uh, know whether uh, Governor Romney is one or not. Right our, now, our, our, being governor. Our, our farm subsidies redistribution of wealth. You know, that's that's a question for federal policy makers. Uh, you know, there's. I think we try to always promote policies that are going to make American industry grow. And uh, if uh, there are proven mechanisms of uh, making various investments that ultimately uh, get our agriculture industry to go, we're doing a couple of those in Virginia, then I'd say that it works. So I'm going to let Congress decide how to do that. But they are redistributing the money from the taxpayer to the farmers, right? Well, no, I wouldn't say that at all. There's, you know, every time you uh, make a budget, you're making certain decisions about taking taxpayer money and putting it into certain things. Uh, I'd say you got to just be uh, faithful to the Constitution and the statutes. Thank you, Governor. Okay, thank you.